What's going on guys? In today's video, I wanted to share with you one of my favorite, favorite concepts in Madden. In particularly, this concept is great out of the Trio Y Flex. Now, if you're new to the channel, I do want to ask you to go ahead and to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on YouTube. Now guys, uh, in this video, we're talking about my Trio Y Flex offense. Again, I'm going to kind of set some audibles here real quick uh, before we get too far into the video so that I have some adjustments. But what I wanna talk about is how you can use this concept, even if you don't have Hot Rod Master, you, ideally, I would recommend Hot Rod Master for this scheme. I think it makes it much, much, much more difficult to stop consistently. But if you don't have Hot Rod Master, it's fine. You just wanna make sure that you have a, you know, a good quarterback that can make these throws. Rodgers obviously can make every throw in the game. We're going to be taking a look at the play PA crossers out of this formation. Now, if you want to get my full Trio Y Flex offensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to that in the description below. It's only $10 a month if you want to check out that Patreon membership. And what you get with that is you're actually going to get access to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks that I've released over the course of the Madden 22 season. We got 20 offensive and defensive ebooks. In addition to that, you're also going to get all the updates to those guides. Um, which walk you through, again, how the meta shifts and different things like that, when new patches, all that stuff, the most up-to-date version of the guides you're going to get. Uh, with that as well, we update the Patreon every week with new content. So if you want to check that out, there'll be a link in the description where you can go check that out. Now, what I wanted to really focus on today was this deep post to Devontae Adams and why it is so, so effective. Now, I'm going to show you a concept that you can use to beat Cover 2. We're going to flat Randall Cobb. We're going to slant Marquez Valdez Scantling. And then we're going to in route Robert Tunyon. Now you need Gunslinger to make this throw. At least in my opinion, it is very helpful or at least set feet lead. You need a really good release like Rodgers or Derek Carr, Mutt. Some of those really good release quarterbacks. That's what you want to look for. But what you'll see here is that this pose, if you pass lead this to the right, because Rodgers has such a good arm, he's able to make that throw. The cool part is, though, that route is not just open against cover two. I'm actually going to show you how it's open against every single coverage in this game. So the next coverage we're going to go over today is, of course, the cover three, which is a very popular coverage, cover three Mabel. And this is a great play for cover three Mabel. Now, I'm putting the tight end on a smart routed dig off the slant there. Um, if you have Hot Route Master, you want to be putting him on a tight end apprentice post. But again, what you'll see is once he crosses the face, there I threw it just a split second too early, as you can see the result. Let me show you that one more time. But once he crosses the face of the secondary player, that is where you want to throw this ball. So again, I'm going to show it to you. PA crossers were smart routed in route Tunyon. And what you'll see, you just got to wait on this. This post runs a lot longer than any other post in the game. Pass lead that to the right. You see how he outruns him. And he's able to make that catch, or at least able to get his hands on the ball. If you have deep out of lead on that player, which is what I would recommend in Mutt, that's going to help significantly. Now, we know that most people like the deep half out of this. We already showed that this can beat a deep half. But can it beat an inside quarter? Inside quarter is what most people like to do whenever they're trying to stop a bomb concept. The other thing you're going to notice is this doesn't really look like a bomb because we don't have a streak on the field. So that's another reason. It's kind of a sneaky bomb concept. Same kind of thing. He's going to get on top, on top. Once he gets on top, pass lead that to the right. And you see it's kind of a tight window. But again, the better release that you have, the better this is going to be. Now I'm going to show you how to make this absolutely foolproof in just a second. But I want to show it to you one more time and show you again how good of a route this can be against cover three. So you're going to force them into that cover four, um, which, is, which is huge for your offense anyway. But again, just pass lead that to the right. Once he crosses his face, you see right there. Perfect throw, perfect catch from Adams. Really, really great route. Now, let's say, for example, that we force them into a cover four drop approach or at least inside quartering that backside guy. What we're going to do in that situation is now we are going to streak Randall Cobb. So you're going to see here we get the streak, we've got the slant, we've got the smart routed in. So you don't even need Hot Route Master to do this. And what you see is this bomb is going to be absolutely a nuke. You see how deep that post runs? And that's what makes it so good. As you can see right there, it absolutely obliterates cover four drop. Now, this is also a really, really, really good uh, call for man-to-man. -man. Why is this so good against man-to-man? -man? The reason that this play is so, so good against man-to-man -man is, again, the depth of the post route really opens it up. So you'll see right here, again, I'm going to throw this post. Once he cuts, see how he's going to get on top, cross the face, and you see how good of a route this really is 
against the man-to-man -man coverage. It doesn't really matter that I, it, you know, it really doesn't matter what they do. This is a great coverage, uh, coverage beater. Now, this is also a incredible, and I mean incredible match beater. Um, so I'll show you this play against match. It's even better than uh, it is against man or zone. This should be match. Let's see here. My, my zone drops might be affecting it. But you see how open this is against that. See how deep that post runs? It's so much deeper than any other route in this game. And um, the only one that even comes close to this concept is the concept out of... Um, it, it's the concept out of... Um, the bunch halfback strong. Now, another thing I wanted to quickly show you is let's say that they use that cover, that deep half out of a cover two uh, sink to try to match onto this concept. This is why I like that little flat route over there. You'll see here that this deep half zone um, is not going to be able to hang with this. And you see how it ah, threw it just a little bit off there. Let me show you that one more time. But the deep half zone from like a cover six, um, this is something else a lot of people like to do to try to stop the bomb. It's not going to be very good against this play. And the reason why is, again, you see how deep the post route is. Um, how deep the post route is is why this is so good. So I'll show it one more time. Again, um, Praximon's being a little finicky. But let me show you. You see how that deep half is kind of ignoring it. And he gets inside, pass like that to the right, click on. And that catch right there is right there for you. So this concept, I can't talk enough about it. It really is my favorite concept in Madden. Let me show you cover four show two real quick. So again, this is cover four show two. You're going to see we're going to get an isolation on that backside guy. Because it runs so deep, his route tech will light up. And you see, oftentimes it can get over the top there. It didn't, but oftentimes it can. It comes down to route running. In regs, your route running can be a little suspect. In Mutt, it's really, you know, you're going to have the best route runners. And again, you'll see here, this time it'll be double teamed. And you see how open it is over the top. So this thing can beat man. It can beat zone. You don't necessarily have to have the streak. If you have the streak, it will significantly help it. Um, it becomes literally the best bomb in the game at that point. You'll see right there. Boom. No. Boom. And pass lead right. You want a sharp pass lead to the right side. And you see just how good this is. This is really hard to stop this concept so i want to thank you for watching the video if you want to learn more about this offense you want to learn all of the setups around it there's a lot you can do with this offense we're actually going to be updating this ebook in the coming weeks be sure to get our patreon membership ten dollars a month unlocks everything over there there's a link in the description below if you want to sign up for that i think it's a great way for you to become a better madden player everyone that's gotten it has instantly become better just by the 20 offensive and defensive guides alone we also have exclusive updates in there that we do every single week that kind of break down how the meta shifts, things that you might need to tweak, bomb concepts, match beaters, how to protect your match coverage, all that stuff. Everything you need to know about getting better at Madden is in the Patreon. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to check out the Patreon, link is in the description. Head on down there and click that link.